almost finished with your piece. And maybe if you're really, really ambitious, you went on to the end by yourself. We're looking at the last two measures and then you're ready to practice your entire piece. Grab your book and look at the last two measures. Your left hand, the bass clef. Do you see down below the bass clef? Do you see the eight VA? That means you're gonna move your hand down one octave. Let me show you. We've been right here the whole piece. Now at the very end, your left hand is going to go down, which is to the left on the piano, one octave. You're going to move your hand down. Okay, I'm going to play the last line. Watch my hands. The last line of the music. One, two, three, four. One, two. Now while you're resting, be moving your hand. One, two, three, four. One, two three, four, and then your hands go to your lap. Watch one more time, then you can practice this on your own. Last line, measure 25. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then move your hands to your lap. Okay. There you go. You know all of my frog. Your job is to practice with your metronome and your job is to look for all the dynamics. Find out where it should be loud and where it should be soft. Make your piece interesting. We don't want our piece to sound like a robot. If we play everything the same, then it sounds like a robot and that's not musical. We want our music to be sometimes loud and sometimes soft. Pay attention to what it says on the page. I can hardly wait to hear your finished My Frog. Have fun! You are brave and you are strong. When life gets tough, you have a song. Take it.